guys. I had a question from one of my viewers. It was actually, um, I think, my daughter. She wanted me to go over all the teas that um, are my favorites. I am a tea drinker, um, and there are certain ones that I absolutely love. Chai tea is one of them. I am a big chai tea lover. I would love to go, like, across the pond and learn how to make chai tea, like in India or somewhere. I do get, and I've been meaning to go downtown. Um, I was busy today at a yard sale. My daughter's mother-in-law had a yard sale. But I go to my herbalist downtown, and uh, one of my favorite teas from her is this Firefly Chai. I love it so much. I have this much of it. I have this much of the same one. And then there's a chocolate chai that she makes. And she makes all of these teas herself. She blends them all together. And I also have, I just got this one the other day. Um, Lipton sells a chocolate chai latte, which was vegan. I was very, very surprised by that. All it had in it is cane sugar, black tea powder, cocoa, um, cinnamon bark, organic ginger root, um, sodium dioxide, which prevents caking, and cardamom. And this was really good. I had it iced. I haven't had it hot yet. And you all know, if you've been watching my channel, it's my brother's apothecary tea. This is one of my favorites, Chai Awakening. I'll have this in the morning, and it actually wakes me up. Um, there's very little CBD in it, but it does have a relaxing kind of effect. Not in my, like, body, like, brain, per se, but, um, like, my, my muscles relax. Like, I just feel, I feel good when I drink this. Get away. And the, there's plenty of health benefits um, for chai tea. And the ingredients in chai, I'm going to read these to you because I don't remember them all. Um, fennel. Fennel's really good for you. Peppercorn, star anise, coriander seeds, turmeric. Turmeric with black pepper has anti-inflammatory um, properties. That That's a must if you have um, arthritis. That's something that I, I swear by. I told my orthopedic doctor over a year ago. Well, two years ago, because last year when I had knee surgery, he said to me, oh, one of my patients said that um, they use turmeric with black pepper and, and it works. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, that was me. Uh, cardamom, ginger, nutmeg, saffron, and cloves. And those are all the base mixtures of a really good chai tea. And some of the health benefits, antioxidants. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It helps protect us from free radicals, which can lead um, to anything from cancer to signs of aging. It helps with weight loss. When blended with cinnamon, it's known to host properties to help with weight loss and reducing cholesterol and dealing with blood sugar levels. Um, heart health. Um, it helps lower bad cholesterol and gives your heart a, chiding, a fighting chance to stay fit. I mean, who doesn't need that? Especially us aging people like myself. Anti-inflammatory properties, which we all need. Um, it helps boost the, immu the immune system, and ginger is one of the spices in it, which also is very good for your gut health. Um, it reduces blood sugar levels. It's a good for heart disease. Bloating, it helps with our gut, um, which is the infusion of black pepper has also been studied to help, has found to help the pancreas send out digestive enzymes and speed up the body's ability to process food faster. It has antifungal properties. And it aids in menstrual cramps, something that I don't have to worry about, but um, you younger ones. Um, it boosts our energy, probably from the caffeine and the black tea. Um, it helps stronger bones. It can boost your bone density, according to the Cambridge School of Medicine. Well, that's good to know. And it also has been known to reduce tumor growth. Look at that. The spicy little nuggets have also been known to reduce tumor growth, which is cloves. Wow. It's a detoxifier. It helps with constipation. It's a stress relief. And to me, I think um, any cup of tea is a stress reliever. Um, I bought my daughter, I think for Christmas, a little travel tea set. It comes in a little teeny carrying case. It's really adorable. It came with two little cups and a little teapot and an infuser. An infuser. And I really hope that she uses it. Like She put it with her camping stuff. And I hope that some morning that when she's maybe by herself in the forest, maybe Garrett's still sleeping, that she makes herself a nice cup of maybe chai tea. And she sits and feels the warmth of the cup and enjoys just, you know, breathing in the steam from her cup of tea and just takes a moment and appreciates where she is in life, in the middle of the forest and listens to what's around her. And that's what, to me, drinking tea does. 
it just slows me down for a moment and makes me appreciate life. Um, and it also fights cancer. So look up your chai tea recipes or go buy some. I mean, it's best to buy, you know, loose leaf like this. And if you can find an herbalist in your town or, you know, it's a tea shop. She's my herbalist. Oh, I made a mess. Hold on. Um, she has, I'd like to go in. I don't know if I'm allowed to go in and film in her shop. It's real little. But her back two walls are full of jars. And that is like my dream. I did have it once um, in the last house. The, um, where did I live? In the townhouse that I lived in. All of my spices and stuff were in mason jars and it was so cool to open up my cabinets and just see that and that's the way her shop is everything is in jars and oops you can get anything um she'll whoop up something for you my daughter when she was still in college um she had a kidney infection and she called me like in severe pain and i rushed down i was living up in uray at the time and i rushed the two hours down here and took her to the hospital and the doctor came in and he says to me i think she's septic and my heart sank and he goes, well, I'm going to run some blood tests. And luckily she was not, but she had a severe kidney infection. And they put her on, I think, three bags of antibiotics, three rounds of it. And the next morning, you know, she went home that night. And the next morning, let's see if I can find it. I went to my herbalist, my tea lady, and I told her. And she made me a giant mason jar full of tea. She put together all these herbs and spices. And she said this will help detoxify her kidneys. It'll help. Um, rebuild what you know what's going on in there and help not rebuild damage because damage but just help her kidneys get back on the right track and uh, Daisy gave me some and Daisy still has some and once in a while when she um, she may have gone out for the weekend with her friends um, they still sometimes act like college kids but now everybody has full-time jobs so some of those days are over of heavy drinking but she will have a cup of kidney tea and I really think that that helped her out a lot but these are some of my other teas. Last year I went through all of my teas and I gave my granddaughter and daughter a whole box of stuff for, I think it was Christmas. And I had like three times the size of this. But these are some of my other teas. And turmeric, as I told you. My daughter gave me these um, a couple years ago for Christmas, I think. This one is turmeric and saffron. This one is turmeric and ginger. This one is turmeric and moringa. And I don't drink these enough. I should be done with these, but I always forget that I have them. Turmeric and ashwagandha. Turmeric and fennel. I found that fennel is really good for you. I've been drinking a lot of that. And this one's spice turmeric. And this is just a little infuser that I use. And I do have a black cast iron teapot that a friend of mine bought me once for Christmas, which I absolutely love. And my other good teas... Let me see what I have here. See, I have all of her teas. I have a, a lemon ginger, a maple ginger. Oh, this is a congestion ease. I give this to everybody, especially in the fall and winter. Look at my wild hair. What the hell's going on there? Um, this really works. Even Daisy's boyfriend, Garrett, said that it worked. He was all stuffy, and she made him a nice cup of hot congestion tea. And what does it have it in? Colt's foot, mullein leaf, and licorice root. And that's it. And it really helped with his congestion. I also have my black tea. I do brew my own kombucha. I don't have any at the moment. Um, once I get settled up on the mesa at my job, because I'll be there for a couple months, I'm going to find, Gideon's going a little nuts over here, um, a bottle of kombucha from the store mm -hmm. with a bunch of sediment in it. And I'm going to um, feed that a nice black sweet tea. And I'm going to grow my own SCOBY, which SCOBY means symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast and that's your start for kombucha and uh, I'll share that with you but I have all kinds of other teas in here oh gum powder green tea it's full of caffeine that's a tough one there it woke me up one morning um let's see I have fennel seed tea or just fennel seeds if I make tea with that um lavender is really good Organic nettle leaf. I drink this too for my bladder. Uh, mulling spices, which is really good. Just a cup of uh, um, real apple juice. Uh, red robius and coconut. I really like this one. And I get all of these from my herbalist, my tea lady. Butterfly pea tea. If any of you have young kids, um, look at this hair. Sorry. 
this is such a cool science experiment. This is blue. It's butterfly blue, butterfly PT, and it turns the water blue. But when you add an acid to it, like lemon, it turns it pink. It's just so bizarre. And it's really good as iced tea. Uh, here's a clary tea. I got this to help clear my head. Holy basil, eleuthero root, oat straw, ginkgo, and Ceylon cinnamon. This one, this one was uh, kind of powerful to me. It made me feel a little weird, but I helped clear my head. And you all know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, like I already showed you one, these are my Brothers Apothecary teas. These have CBD in them. This is one of my favorites, the pumpkin spice. I got a breakfast buzz. I have not tried this one yet. Um, where is the ingredients on these? Oh, this has Kenya, Cylon, and Asa. Hmm. And black tea and CBD. Peppermint Treat is a hot cocoa. That one's delicious. The Mighty Matcha is a green tea. Buddha's Berry. I had this the other day. This was delicious. This is a blended green tea with Rama, Krishna, and Vanna Tulsi. Organic blackberry leaf and paired with Oregon grown hemp. That was a really good delicious cup of tea. And I got the Butterfly Blue Tea in the CBD. Uh, the Midnight Dream. This one helps me sleep. Uh, what's in this one? Why do I not find the ingredients right away on here? Chamomile, spearmint, orange, lemongrass, rose, linden leaf, blackberry leaf, and hawthorn berry. Uh, Golden Dream. It's a turmeric tea. A mellow mint. This one's really good, too. I like this one in the morning. Cosmic Cleanse. Helps cleanse your system. I haven't had this one yet, either. And here's another Midnight Dream. Is that the second one? Because there's two midnight ones, two nighttime ones. But I really like them, um, and I love their company. Um, and those are all my teas. And I like, my, oh, I also have um, my, um, what do you call this? My boba tea. I get this at the Asian Market in Denver. I picked this up. Uh, this was a vegan one. And these are Black Pearl. I made a delicious cup. When I was at my daughter's, and I put one for her in the fridge, and she forgot about it. And um, then it separated, because I put some oat milk in it. So I was quite upset that she didn't get to drink it. But those are my favorite teas. Um, maybe tomorrow... What's tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's Sunday. She's not open on Sundays. Maybe Monday I'll try and get downtown, because I'd like to do a video of what we have downtown in Junction. All the, um, um, the statues that some of the artists have made and they're in town um i'd like to do a video of that and show you but um i really have to show you my tea shop she does have a website and for the life of me i cannot think of the name of her shop but i'll get it and i'll let you know and um my back hurts from the yard sale today so i'm gonna have a cup of tea and then we're gonna go lay down so i hope you guys had a a good evening Here's my little teapot I was telling you about. A little cast iron one my friend Diane, upstate New York, gave me. Here's a little crooked old bent up tea basket. I'm going to make myself some chocolate chai. Sorry, I have to hold this tripod. I just broke my little one that I usually use. So if you ever use, never use loose leaf, you just put it in a little basket and you pour your hot water over it. Oh, and at the yard sale today, I'm really picky about my coffee cups, but my daughter's mother-in-law had this one. I just thought it was so pretty, and it fit, but today and yesterday was all about here in Colorado in May. It was freezing. It was 30-something degrees when I got up this morning. Let's see if my water's done yet. Alrighty. Get a rag. I'll have this with some maple syrup instead of honey. And yes, I do eat honey. I eat local honey. No matter where I go, I'll pick up a local thing of honey. Because a local honey um, will help build your immune system to all the allergies that you may be allergic to in that specific area of the country. So don't ever get that. 
jar of honey that's in the little bear. And honey shouldn't melt in hot water. If it does, you know that's not real honey. It's mixed with sugar. Well, I'm going to let this uh, brew for a little bit, and I'll be back with my tea. It's windy out. It's coming in. I hope you don't hear it. What I said before about honey not melting, it, it melts, but it's a different, it takes a bit. You'll see. If you see, um, it, it's hard to explain. It's really hard to explain. I'll just let it go. <laughs> but I used to raise bees with my daughter for a bit. I mentioned that in another video. And they swarmed. She had them twice and they swarmed. But I kept my bee hat. And I may be using it this year on my job. Because last year when I went camping up there, the mosquitoes were so bad I couldn't leave the truck. So thank goodness I had Bridgerton downloaded on my phone and tablet. And that's what I watched and looked out the window over the pond. But I'm going to enjoy my tea in my new cup. I'm going to run in the house and get my milk because I left it in my daughter's fridge. This was my daughter in the hospital um, with a severe kidney infection. I think her college drinking got the best of her. But thank God she wasn't septic and she recovered fully.